Hickok 45 here with a fun gun. Yes, the LC carbine in 45 ACP. You know I like 45 caliber firearms. It's in my name. And you know what? I heard they made this specifically for one reason. Was to shoot big feet. Yeah, or one Bigfoot. What did I tell you? They could put 45 slugs on a Bigfoot. Or if you have two or three of them, I guess they're called Big Feet, right? I don't know. Let's see if it's gong worthy. I can't see the gong. Let's just shoot the buffalo. All right. How about the cowboy? <coughs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze. I love a 45. Look at that. Two liter and a plate behind it. Yeah, 45 ACP. Pretty cool. Those were uh, plus P, by the way. I was just shooting uh, from Underwood. And uh, kind of nice. I thought I'd shoot those. We may suppress it here in a minute. And I'll, uh, I'll not shoot plus P, okay? Probably be quieter without the plus P. But that, that's some good ammo. I appreciate Widener's. We're able to use all kinds of ammo. Yeah, Underwood, uh, farm set, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so back to the topic at hand. What are we doing? We we did the uh, the five seven there in the LC carbine, and I don't remember. I don't remember what I said about it. I think I kind of liked the gun. It it felt really solid and well made and everything, but uh, my opinion is uh, kind of shaded. Uh, in, in that video, I'm sure I should have gone back and looked at it and seen what sorts of dumb things I said. But I just uh, am not a big fan of that that cartridge. It may be the best cartridge on the planet. I don't know. Secret Service carried it for a long time, right? I, I just I just don't like those little bitty bullets. Not as much fun to shoot. Not as much fun. Uh, now it's <laughs> one of my very favorite chamberings. So I, I like it better. How's that? And I've uh, been messing with it, shooting it. Uh, one of the negatives, I've, I've not been able to get that front sight down low enough. I've cranked it down. I think it's as far down as it will go. And I know it's just an in-bus in -bus sight and everything. And a lot of people will put an optic or a different set of sights on it. And I would if it was mine, maybe. Uh, but I've not been able to adjust that down to, to, to the point where I, I can avoid holding. So I had to hold, like on the buffalo I hit over there, I was having to hold really on the top of him, maybe just a hair even high. And I've had trouble hitting small targets because of that a little bit. But that's a simple enough thing to fix. I don't know, it might help. Would it help if I moved like the front side up a little bit? Or is that, I don't know, some of you physics majors, does that make a difference? But it, cause it's very close to me and just fine. Can I shoot again for a jack some more? And I, and I want to show you this about it. Uh, see the bolts back. You got a, a bolt release up here. I, don't know if, I guess I show you this on the old one, the other one we had, I don't know. This is a bolt release, it's kind of different, it's weird, it's amb ambi, but it's so different when it's on the right side. See that, push the button, yeah, kind of like it. Got an ambi safety there, so, feels solid, uh, I probably told you that on the other one, because it is anodized aluminum, it's not, it's not all polymer, it's got some polymer, but it's a lot of aluminum and steel, okay. And right now, it's got a lot of lead. Now I can see that uh, gong out there. Did I turn the safety off yet? All right. See a turkey down there in the holler. <laughs> Uh-oh. Kentucky two-liter. Yeah, <laughs> blew up that bowling pin. What about you, Clyde? You need another round? <laughs> We're still trucking longer than a thousand feet per second with the Underwood uh, 45 ACP. There's an old two liter right there that's in bad shape. Been out in the weather too much. Boom. All right. I have some uh, longer 45 ACP mags. I, I don't know where they are. I've got a couple of them somewhere with extensions, but couldn't find them. But you know, the Glock mags are what it takes. 
and uh, you know, so any Glock mag 45 uh, will work, and as long as it's as big as a Glock 21 mag. Now the mag that came with it, I think I used it. Uh, maybe I didn't. No, it's this one here. This came with SHK mag. SGM tactical okay I'm not all that familiar with them but I've used that and it seems to, to work okay uh, so you know it, it's not a mag or a company I would run out to buy a bunch of them <coughs> if this were my gun because you know I have Glock 21 mags and all that so I I do trust Glock mags <laughs> that's the old joke does it take Glock mags let's quiet it down a little bit you know since it uh, that's the beauty of a 45 ACP folks if you don't know that already it's just generally uh, subsonic to begin with, with most ammo, and it's fun to shoot, and it's fun to suppress. So, so that's one of the things I like uh, about this. Got her definitely unloaded. Right, you get this cool folding stock, yeah, and uh, you just pull it out, and uh, you know it's also extendable. I guess I've got it all the way out. Imagine that. There you go, and uh, you know it comes with these the inbus sights. The rail, uh, you know, very ambi, and again, really solid. Just a really solid gun. About a 16, whatever, and a quarter inch barrel, uh, mostly carbon steel. So, yeah, pretty cool. Now, now we've got you some standard 230 grain ball. Now let's see if we can hit something with it. One, two, more quietly. Let's sneak up on Clyde more quietly now. I don't even have to put my ears on it. All right. <laughs> what I like about that is you can hear the hit better. That's the beauty of it. Clyde, I'm going to try to put one up near his head. <laughs> how about you, cowboy? You want a quiet bullet? Oh, how about this? Uh, now my, uh, my spray can here froze and burst this winter messed it up so it became a target just like everything else right <laughs> things tend to become a target around my place pretty easily i remember when i first moved in here I had a, a water heater went out and of course dragged it out through the range target right that's the way it goes it always has that was long before YouTube existed. Let's quietly put one over here on Mr. Gong. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to try that little red plate over there. See if I can get the sight held up correctly. Oh, good. Okay, I underestimated myself. I adjusted it down and I just worked on it two, three different times. And that buffalo. Yeah, pretty cool. How about these quiet bowling pins? Boom, boom. <laughs> Woo! Go crazy, won't you? Go crazy. That Mr. Piggy. Boom, last one on him. So what else about this? Uh, this is what's known as, again, a pistol caliber carbine, right? Because it's a pistol bullet. It's a pistol caliber. Uh, pistol cartridge, really, is what it ought to be, I guess, right? Uh, but this is the kind of thing that's just a lot of fun, put it that way. And actually, you have tactical application, right? Uh, you know, you've got a firearm like this that uh, you know, shoots a fairly serious rounds we all know at 45 ACP it's very compact uh, lots of applications maybe home defense whatever uh, fortress defense castle defense whatever it might be you know with that suppressor off or you might want it on there but yeah you got a firearm <coughs> that long and uh, that is very short it would fit in a lot of cases and uh, just very very handy it's not light the only thing it's not a a light little 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 firearm but it's not that high. i think it's uh what six seven pounds but that doesn't bother me i like that because of that bolt and that blowback action uh it really helps absorb recoil you don't even in a 45 you don't feel like it's knocking you around at all and uh, 
it's, it's, it's uh, pretty neat. You got all your Picatinny rails and everything. You can reverse the uh, charging handle and uh, the mag release. I think you need to have the mags that have the uh, cut out on both sides. The old mags may not work if you reverse it, but by and large, you've got a reversible. Some of you have probably never even seen a Glock mag that's, that's not cut out on both sides. Uh, I still have some of those around. Can I shoot it a little bit more? I want to also thank Alabama Holster uh, for their support. The first holsters, great support of the channel, and they make wonderful holsters. So, let's shoot some more, you want to? Then I'll let you get out of here. Uh, well, you know what we ought to do? Let's make sure it'll feed a hollow point. You want to? Because what kind of defensive firearm is it that won't do that? We'll even test the, uh, let's see, yeah, I got my suppressor on. Now, these might be a little warmer. They might not be as quiet. Let's test the expansion, see if it'll expand on Clyde. Yeah. I feel like it did. I feel like it did. What about the Cowboy? Yeah, man. Let's see if it'll expand in that red 2-liter. <laughs> that bowling. <laughs> Nice. I think it'll expand on the gong, too. All right. About the buffalo. Yeah. Yeah, every single one of those, I think, expanded. Guarantee. <laughs> so I make, you know, bad mouth of sights and everything, but then and then I can't miss with it. But that's partly just the fun of these things, these little pistol caliber carbines. Um, even if you do not have a tactical uh, purpose for this firearm or one like this, uh, I guarantee you, you would really enjoy shooting it, you know, suppressed or not. And uh, just because it's so convenient, low recoil, you know, pistol ammo is generally less expensive than rifle ammo. Uh, and one of the things I guess I don't talk about enough, would you all kind of know, if I bring a 5.56 over here or a 308 or something, even an AK-76 Super 39, I, I can't shoot these targets right here. I don't even shoot quiet. I, you know, so much that I, I've got to be careful about what I shoot. But if you got a pistol caliber rifle or carbine, just like having a handgun out here, shoot literally anything out there in that vast array take a target rich environment right that I have set up so that I can never miss you know I'm gonna hit something right so so pretty cool I uh, I guess I could I will dwell on yeah let's make sure we're empty we're empty as far as uh, I don't know if I did this I think I did briefly just took it apart I'll just brought a punch in case I got do I have anything else loaded oh yeah there's another mag oh wow there's a couple of them I might be tempted to shoot all these rounds sorry make you hang around a little bit longer open up those sights uh, I'm I'm torn on sights you know I, I, I've gotten where I kind of like a red dot or a prism scope if it's small enough on, on farms like this it's fun too but uh, but boy it is nice not having anything sticking up pop those down and look what you got and you got a really short little piece as you saw so yeah it depends on what you like most people like a an optic of some sort okay so I'm going to leave the Banish 45 on there and plug a couple of things. Like, uh, whatever. <laughs> that didn't take long. Got another mag. I'm going to have to find those longer mags. All right, Clyde. Oh. <laughs> yeah that's pretty neat it really is i i don't have a lot uh, negative to say about this thing and uh, i didn't i didn't fall in love with the first one in the five seven uh and i'm not in love with this one but i, I just kind of like it everything about it feels sturdy strong maybe a little heavy um, I mean, I guess in terms of negatives, you could maybe uh, that could be one. I mean, it's a little chunky, a little heavy, and then also the uh, price. Uh, but I don't know. It's hard to find a firearm under a thousand bucks that's of any 
I don't know, serious quality, especially in a long gun. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Have I ever been wrong? Uh, so, and of course, it takes Glock magazines, right? That's always good. Even if you hate Glocks, there's so many of those magazines available. I mean, any gun shop of any size you walk into, they're gonna have Glock mags. They're gonna have Glock 21 mags, 45 ACP mags, right? So you're you're set for that. So anyway, pretty cool. And I appreciate the, you know, Bud sending this uh, out so we can shoot it before I send it back to him. And uh, I'll clean her up and uh, ship it back. But pretty cool. Uh, so thanks to them and everybody that helps us out. You know, these folks that make these fine suppressors up in South Dakota and uh, uh, Ballastol and Talon Grips and Fun Gun, Gun Fun Targets and everybody. So glad you came out today. Uh, so you could, you could watch me have fun. I'm sorry you couldn't be here. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastol. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it? Uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol, uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastol.com, talongungrips.com. And also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter. The real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.